Do you know how to find a monomial factor of a polynomial? Let's take a look. Here's a polynomial. 16a cubed minus 4a squared plus 4a. Now when we're looking for the greatest common factor, monomial, of a polynomial, we're looking for numbers and terms that all of the terms in a polynomial have in common. So let's look at 16a to the third, 4a squared, and 4a. What do these three all have in common? Well, they all have a 4 in common. So we can factor a 4 out of this polynomial. Now let's look at the variable and the exponents. We can factor an a out of this one, an a out of this one, and an a out of this one. So we can take out 4a. Now let's actually take out 4a. If we take 4a out of 16a to the third, then I'm left with 4a to the second minus take a 4a out of 4a squared, I'm only left with a. And if I take 4a out of 4a, then I'm left with 1. Now I have factored this polynomial up here by taking out the greatest common monomial. Now you might be wondering how you can be sure your work is accurate. And the best way to do that is to remultiply the monomial outside of the parentheses with the terms inside of the parentheses and see if you get what you started with. Let's do that. 4a times 4a squared is 16a to the third. 4a times a negative a is negative 4a squared. And 4a times a positive 1 is positive 4a. You can see that this polynomial is the same polynomial we started with, so our work is accurate. Let's look at another one. Here we have 6x squared y squared minus 12xy squared plus 24y cubed. Let's look at the number parts of each term first and see if there's something common that we can take out of each of the three terms. 6, 12, 24 all have 6 in common. We can take out a 6. Can we take an x out of each term? No. We can't because this last term doesn't have an x. But we can take a y squared out of each term. So now we have 6y squared. Let's take 6y squared out of the first term. We're left with x squared only. Take it out of the second term. We're left with negative 2x. Take it out of the third term. We're left with plus 4y. 6y squared times the quantity x squared minus 2x plus 4y. This is our answer, and our work is now complete.